Hello and welcome to 7 Days. To start the news off this week, there has been a bit of a breakthrough when it comes to IVF technology as scientists have produced rhino embryos from the genes of two dead male rhinos. These rhinos were a subspecies of the northern white rhino whose last male died in March this year. They are now estimating that the northern white rhino could be saved from extinction within the next three years. In other news, the decline in the numbers of lemurs present in Madagascar's rainforests through activities such as hunting may have a terrible effect on the largest trees in Madagascar, endangering them. The lemurs by themselves disperse the seeds of so many of the forest's biggest trees. This is devastating news to the trees that are already in a lot of trouble. The world's most trafficked animals, the dangerously endangered pangolin, has now got a secret weapon. Unfortunately, they can only use it when they're dead. Forensic fingerprinting technology is going to be used on pangolin scales, so the poachers who killed the pangolin and subsequently ripped off their scales to be sold can be prosecuted. This is a great step in the fight against poaching, thanks to the researchers at the University of Portsmouth and ZSL. Some fascinating insights into the hunting techniques of Neanderthals were made this week, as a study published in Nature Ecology and Evolution has examined lesions found on the ancient fallow deer bones. The researchers were able to reconstruct the way in which these lesions were made, finding that the Neanderthals approached very close to the deer, before thrusting their wooden spears into them. This kind of hunting would have needed a lot of careful planning to pull off, and so the researchers suggest that such techniques may have had some involvement in the evolution of certain hominin behaviours. New research published this week has shown that some of the earliest animals that evolved on Earth were in fact responsible for periods of global warming. By running a model of animal evolution at this time, it was found that the burrowing activities of those first creatures not only caused a decrease in the amount of oxygen in the ocean and atmosphere, but also increased the amount of CO2, leading to global warming that generated some harsh conditions for the animals to live in. The researchers also point to the parallels between this finding and our current situation of anthropogenic climate change. Some concerning news for marine mammal species, as a study has looked at which animals will be most severely affected by shipping routes in the Arctic. As the cover of ice becomes further reduced, this is opening up new areas for ships to travel through, which will have particularly negative impacts on narwhals, belugas, bowheads and walruses. Hopefully, however, this study will enable certain guidelines to be established that will help to protect marine mammal species from the increased ship activity. Thank you very much for listening in to this week's 7 Days of Science and we'll see you on Sunday for the next episode of Things We Don't Know.